Hi, this is Millie Kay and it's Tuesday, June 13th, 2017. I'm down at the Feather River. I haven't been down here for a few weeks and I wanted to show you what it looks like now that we're getting 5,000 cubic feet per second from Oroville in river releases. Actually, the outflows of the Hyatt Power Plant are about 6,500, so they're holding some back. And I, I believe that's all from the Hyatt Power Plant. I don't think they're using the river valve outlet system, but I really wouldn't know that. So I'm down here 30 miles downstream from Oroville, and straight ahead you can see Oroville is up that way. And if you look at that rock, if you've watched my videos over time, you've seen that rock covered in water and half covered in water and at various stages as, as we've gone through those four spills that came out of Oroville over the last four months. So today the river level is at 41 feet and I'm going to walk down here. As you can see, all of this was wet at various times. So it's all dried out now. It's about 70 degrees today. Right now at about 10 o'clock in the morning. And we're expecting about an 85 degree day. Then I think we're looking at triple digits coming up soon. This will surprise you if you've watched my videos before. This is the river at 41 feet. Uh, as you've seen over time, the river has topped its banks quite a few times in the last month. Down there is the river headed towards Sacramento. And then over here you can see those trees where the water had been up on those. The levee's back there. Water had been up on the levee for a while. I'll walk along the bank here. It's not so wet anymore and you can see the, the edges of it. It's very sandy. I still wouldn't go too close to the edge. So that's what the river looks like when there's 5,000 cubic feet per second coming out of Oroville and the river's at a level of 41 feet. The flood stage here is 80. Flood watch stage is 65, so no problem there. And then if you look straight across, that sandbar over there, that's where the Yuba River flows in. And you can really see that, what I call a sandbar. It's been mostly, uh, it has not been that visible in a long time. And then you can see. And when I looked at the, the statistics on the CDEC website, it looks like the releases have gone down even further on the river releases to 4,800 cubic feet per second. We won't see that for a little while because it takes the water a while to get here or for water to be, uh, to go down when they lower the releases. And the last time I looked, which was earlier this morning, the reservoir level was 813.14, the uh, Oroville Reservoir. So the water's down below the gates. And the flood control gates at Oroville the bottom of them is at 813.6 feet. So now there's no water up against the gates. 
and they could work on them if that was what they planned to do. So this is an area right here that I've filmed a lot. So this gives you a really good look at that to see how low the water is. And the vegetation's growing. We had a little bit of rain here and there and then it gets really hot off and on. But the trees are green. And Anyway, I just wanted to come down here and see what what things look like and, and document the river level. So I hope you will like, subscribe, and share. And I really appreciate your views, and I'll see you later.